Okay, this is going to be a, sh a short session, primarily uh, if you have a pump that's functioning and complete, but you're going to put the pump on another application and you need to reclock the arm uh, for a different bracket to mount it on, a, on another motor. Uh, this is to keep you out of trouble and give you some pointers on what to look for. Uh, first off, if you've got a bolt, a pump that's that's complete, got all eight bolts in the cover. Once you've pulled the bolts out of the pump, do not pick up on the cover shaft. Leave it in place. Pull the arm around to the new position, and put, start putting your bolts in and lube them up with top oil or ATF, some kind of lubricant. Do not put them up dry. Start all eight bolts. Uh, do not run all of them down. Just get them all started. Pick two opposing bolts. You can start anywhere you want to. And when you're doing this, do not let the arm float freely. Do not hold the arm to hold the pump. Hold the body of the pump and snug two opposing bolts a little at a time across from each other. Once you have those two snug, <clears throat> pick up on the pump and roll the shaft through by hand. It, it, this one particular right now has got a roughness to it, kind of what I describe as a, a, a marble kind of a feel. It's not smooth, and so I need to uh, pick two other bolts, loosen these two up, and start, and you uh, repeat that procedure all the way around the pump until, and the first time you grab the shaft and it doesn't turn right, by doing it two or three at a time, um, you will determine what that the previous time was rough. Did fe this one feels better, and you've got to repeat that until you get the pump where it turns nice and smooth and doesn't have a tight loose tight loose spot. Failing to do that can damage the pump because the clearance in these pumps is very tight, and you can run. Uh, the hard coat out of the body uh, by assembling a pump that's not correct. Tighten the rest of all of the bolts and if it still turns the same way uh, you're done. Uh, after you've done this remember when you put this back on the car do not spin this pump over with either the motor or a drill creating and bringing fuel pressure up on the system and bringing fuel from the back of the car to an empty carburetor and to an empty fuel pump. Backfill the carburetor through the vent tubes with fuel, fill the uh, top of the pump through the outlet fitting with fuel and hook your lines back up before you ever uh, spin the motor over or attempt to crank it. The only lubrication this pump gets is the fuel inside of it. So do not use it to bring fuel from the back of the car when you know in advance that the pump's empty and the, the carburetor's empty. And if you do that, you'll protect your investment.